And now for the credit roll. I'm not going to bother reading all these credits. This is where you see the names of the cast. Any character's important enough to have a voice, at least. These credits are actually a lot longer in the Xbox Live Arcade because it has the original credits as well as it crediting everyone who ported it over, so... I, I mean, I could skip this, but it's really part of the Let's Play experience. You're supposed to leave the credits in, I think. It's like your way of, uh... It's your way of, uh... I don't know. Make sure that you don't infringe any copyright laws, I guess. I don't know. This doesn't feel right to have a Let's Play without the credits. I like some of the names they have for these, like programs or keyboard tappers. <coughs> keyboard tapper, guys, lock up Lewis. And some of them have nicknames from characters in the game. <sighs> At what's end? Um, I guess that they either had the answer themselves in the project based off the enemies, or each of them got to name one of the enemies, or something like that. Who knows? Cartoony bits, more scribbling. Probably sketch art, like concept artists, that kind of thing. Seen Craner. So yeah, I'm glad you, I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play. Of course, many of you know it's not over yet. I'm not gonna bother any otherwise. You just have to fight Grunty. Big noise maker. Probably sound effect artist or whatever. Chief free player. I kinda like this music. This whole game has a great soundtrack. Hey, I have I took the jiggy from you. Actually you gave it to me when I was Walrus. This is kinda cool, you get to, you get to see all the characters from pre from earlier in the game. After you beat it already. It's really not that long. I'll probably put this in a separate video for those of you who want to skip it, though. So some people don't want to sit through the credits, especially in the Let's Play. Unless they want to hear what the person playing the game has to say. Which, in my case, isn't a whole lot, to be honest. He's got a fun voice. Hey, Napper. Nintendo of America, big thanks. I said so many references to Nintendo and all that. Big cheese, thanks. Mr. Mar Yamauchi, Mr. Mumbo Jumbo, Arakawa, Howard Limbo Lincoln, Mr. Mum Mum Fukuda, Gail Naughty Children. I'm probably butchering these names. Hi, Snap, Snorkel. Pretty soon you'll start seeing names for the moving and shaking. Yeah, the movie end isn't here anymore, sadly. Hey, Eerie. Credits for this shinier version. 4J Studios. Keyboard tapping. Patty Burns. Chris Molander. Richard Ravey. So at this point, this is where they start listing off credits for the, uh, improved from this version. People who, uh, did their part to bring this back to the Xbox Live Arcade with enhanced graphics and all that. And as you can see, it's like some of the characters again. We're almost done, though. Be a little bit patient and we'll be able to move on and finish this game. Rare additional keyboard tapping. David the Ancient One Almond. Dave Tumblr Thomas. Hopefully this isn't getting desynced. I haven't had any problems with that with my computer so far, but you never know. If it is, then I can always fix that, I guess. I know that Zathos has been having a lot of trouble with desync recently, which is why his videos have been coming slower recently. I guess for those of you watching, I'm going to make a proper update video for this, but I wanted to ask you guys, for my channel, uh, which of my last plays do you actually want to see me finish, because I'm getting kind of bored with the... Uh, I'll finish Link to the Past, because I like that game, I want to finish it. Pokemon train card game, honestly, it feels like it's going to get repetitive, and I'm thinking about just uh, canceling that one. But if you guys really want me to finish it, then I will. 
all depends on how much, how many people want me to finish the game and all that. In an actual Pokemon game, like, Pokemon, if the actual Pokemon mainstream games would be a lot more entertaining. There's more of a story to them and all that. Pokemon, don't get me wrong, Pokemon Train Card Game is a fun game, but I feel like it just get repetitive for the people watching and all that. Nice watch Live Arcade Team, Assorted Paper Pushers, Mark Coates, Kevin Hathaway. Ah, uh, whatever. It's been pretty warm today. I mean, it's not that warm compared to people who live in warmer climates. Like where I'm living right now, it's let me check the temperature. It's only like 72 degrees, but that's for this area. That's actually pretty warm. Well, it's, it's an average temperature for the summer. Average to high. Around here, it never gets warmer than like 80 or maybe 90 during a heat wave. But it just gets a lot colder in the winter. In fact, it goes low as like. Uh, 10 or 20 degrees before Fahrenheit, of course. <laughs> Press hypnotist. That's kind of funny. BMC free players with a cheese topping. You can see they actually had some fun with the credits, though. Like naming everyone. Instead of saying programmers, they say keyboard tappers. Instead of saying sound design, they call them big noisemakers. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if they said I they said like free players with a cherry on top or something. Additional localization on this shinier version. I'm sorry if this is boring you guys. Like I said, this will be in a separate video, so you'll be able to skip it if you want to. <laughs> but uh yeah, so for my channel I've I think the current projects I have are Banjo Kazoo, which I'm finishing up right now as we speak. And you'll see the ending parts coming up soon if they're not already up. Then there's of course, uh... Oh, it looks like we're almost done here. Of course I've got a uh, Link to the Past I'm going to be finishing, and uh, Pokemon Train Card Game, which its feature is in the hands of you guys, my subscribers and viewers.